The modern automotive world has entered an era of dramatic changes, making the auto giants quickly adjust their processes to today's realities. Over the past 10 years, Toyota has confidently taken the lead in the global automotive industry. This was facilitated by a balanced model range and an optimal ratio of price and quality of cars. However, even though Toyota is the best-selling car company in the world, its market cap is nearly four times less than that of Tesla. But the Japanese giant is getting serious with EVs, and today we'll look at their upcoming electric vehicles that can help Toyota maintain its top position in the modern mobility market. It all starts with the BZ4X fully electric SUV aiming to seriously disrupt the entire electric segment. The car that is slated to be available in 2022 has been developed in conjunction with Subaru, which means the new model will benefit from Subaru's wide experience in the engineering of the four-wheel drive systems by delivering non-compromised off-road capabilities. The nearly RAV4-sized electric SUV from Toyota offers sufficient ground clearance, unlike many modern battery-powered SUVs. Its relatively low roof and inclined windshields will ensure aerodynamic qualities and therefore will increase the driving range. Inside, it offers a lot of room and a much more interesting cockpit than other Toyota models. The instrument panel is positioned above the steering wheel, which minimizes eye movements for safer driving. The BZ4X will come with an advanced steer-by-wire technology that provides greater control and steering precision, removing interference from rough road surfaces and braking. You will not need to take your hands off the steering wheel at tight turns, since the system will help achieve full lock steering rotation angle of just 150 degrees, greatly reducing the load on the driver for U-turn and on twisty roads. The BZ4X is the first car among the upcoming models from Toyota's all-electric BZ series. The dual-motor variant can reach 60 miles per hour in 7.7 seconds, while the single-motor version can achieve a range of 250 miles in EPA test. Toyota says it has achieved one of the highest battery capacity maintenance rates of 90% after 10 years or 150,000 miles of operation. The car will also be offered with an optional solar panel roof, which can provide 1,100 miles of driving in the course of a year. The price of the BZ4X should be comparable with Volkswagen ID4 Pro, which costs $32,500 after the government incentive. In order to compete in the luxury segment, Toyota is going to lean on Lexus the company's premium brand that has gained a unique market position thanks to its outstanding quality and the broadest lineup of hybrid vehicles in the class. The LFZ electrified concept is intended to claim the company's commitment to all electric vehicles as well. And what's more important, we can expect it in the production version already next year under the RZ trademark. In general, this model will combine all the advanced solutions of the company in terms of both design and technologies. While the exterior of the LFZ Electrified seems closer to production ready, it will be interesting to see how the interior's futuristic technologies and features get the final shape. The model will share Toyota's steer-by-wire technology as well. It's expected to be equipped with a 90 kilowatt hour battery for a driving range of up to 370 miles, while the 540 horsepower electric motor can push the model to 60 miles per hour in under four seconds. What's remarkable is that Toyota has started testing their new all solid state batteries since 2020. These novel batteries require less charging time, offering significantly higher energy density, which makes cars more practical in terms of weight and space. So, for those who love dynamic drive on curvy roads, Lexus plans to offer the solid-state powered version of the SUV, which will be lighter and can provide 300 miles of energy with an incredible 10-minute charge. Most probably, the solid-state powered variants will initially be more expensive than conventional lithium-ion batteries, but eventually this technology is expected to make cars cheaper. If you think that Toyota's ambitions are limited to cars on the ground only, then we have something to surprise you. In modern cities with their dense buildings, intense traffic and a frantic rhythm, many people dream of flying cars. And if 10 years ago this could seem like an ordinary fantasy, 
Today, leading engineers are seriously working on such projects. That's why, by setting its eyes to the sky, Toyota has signed an agreement with Joby Aviation aiming to help commercialize all-electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft technologies. The company has invested almost $400 million in Joby. But apart from the financial support, Toyota will share its expertise in manufacturing, quality and cost controls, thus making the eVTOL coming with Toyota's DNA. The aircraft can fly more than 150 miles on a full charge and transport a pilot and four passengers at a speed of up to 200 miles per hour. It comes to solve the problem of air noise pollution, offering fast, quiet and convenient flying experience. For comparison, you can see the noise differences with other familiar transports. Joby assures that the future eVTOLs will offer lower operating and maintenance costs. And although the cost price per Joby aircraft is about $1.3 million, most customers will be pleased to make use of it in a ride-sharing service. Once Toyota utilizes its solid-state battery technology, the eVTOL will be more efficient in terms of cost and performance. The first commercial passenger service is expected to start in 2024. Speaking about flying cars, SkyDrive is another project Toyota is interested in, which aims to reach full autonomy in seven years. Toyota has started building the city of the future, where all cars will be electric, without the smell of burnt gas and engine noise. The network for the autonomous delivery of goods will take place underground, connecting directly to the buildings above. The roads will be designed only for autonomous vehicles, making the operation of full self-driving vehicles much less challenging. Two new electric autonomous vehicles are going to operate there, the Toyota e pallet Shuttle and the LQ Concept. The autonomous net will work in a synchronous way regulated by the Advanced Management System. The LQ Concept is the vehicle with which Toyota tests its upcoming solid-state batteries. Besides, it features a newly developed catalyst coating technology, which decomposes ozone into oxygen while driving, thus helping clean harmful emissions from the air. Toyota is going to use this novel technology in its future commercial vehicles as well. Until the above-mentioned models will come to market, Toyota has revealed its second-generation hydrogen-powered model, the Mirai. There are not so many models in this sub-niche, and Mirai is obviously the most stylish among them. Unlike plug-in electric vehicles, the Mirai can be fueled with a tank of hydrogen in just a few minutes, which is the most important advantage of any fuel cell electric vehicle. The car comes much closer to a Lexus, with its much more comfortable and luxurious interior. The newest Mirai has also got a more powerful fuel cell drivetrain, with a tangible increase in range. Now the vehicle can go 402 miles on a full tank of hydrogen. Though, if you like thrilling driving, Mirai has nothing to offer, with its 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration time of around 9 seconds. Now that green hydrogen is expensive, you can instead benefit from a 3-year or $15,000 fuel incentive from Toyota. The Mirai that is only available in California has a starting price of $38,000, including the government and state incentives. The main thing that will be lacking for owners is the number of hydrogen charging stations. Making a hydrogen-powered flagship sedan has been on Lexus's radar for a long time. The roofline of the vehicle, dubbed LFFC, flows from front to rear in the style of a four-door coupe, which allows the owners to enjoy the car not only on straight highways, but also on twisty roads. Toyota is going to use the second-generation hydrogen fuel cell system to power commercial vehicles through its subsidiary, Hino Motors. The company has revealed the prototype of its first class 8 hydrogen fuel cell electric truck, slated to go on production in 2023. Unlike a conventional lithium-ion battery, the energy density of hydrogen is significantly higher, which allows the heavy-duty trucks with fuel cell powertrain to have more cargo capacity. Another advantage is that the hydrogen tank can be charged much faster. But as for the operational costs, they will be much higher than those of battery-powered vehicles, since producing green hydrogen is significantly more expensive. 
If you would like to discover the world of electric mobility, don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next interesting videos. Out of frame. And out of frame.